Hi, good evening everyone. So let's see our website first. This website has very good UI and UX design, right? Very good taste. And it has a lot of functionalities, right? But can you imagine it? I just called it like three hours. So today, let me introduce my secret weapon I have been using for several days. That is UWare AI. Hey, I've been in the web coding industry for almost several years. And I coded a lot of stuff, even though I'm not really a coder. I'm a designer who cannot code. Thanks to advanced AI models, now I already coded many applications and many websites. Some are for my clients, some are for myself. But if you are into web coding, I think you're already familiar with several tools like the cursor, like the windsurf, right? And for the models we are using, like Gemini, like ChatGPT, right? So what is the big challenge for web coders like me? First, we need to subscribe many uh, models, right? We spend a lot of money. And for example, if the result is not quite satisfying, we're still paying them, right? But this tool, if you're not satisfied with it, you can get refund. And second problem is for most of the web coders, you cannot code the database, right? It is quite easy. Nowadays, you can code a front end very easily, right? By Gemini, you can code a beautiful website. But what about database? We need a savior to help us with all the problems, right? I think I found it. It is a UWare. So web coding in UWare, if you're not satisfied with it, you got a refund. And the UI and the UX designs are quite amazing. No more purple stuff by AI. So that thing specially trained to design beautiful designs. And you will get this super power tool that can help you to build up your database. And you can download the full code with the front end and also back end, just one click. Also, it's free to use, so you can start today after my tutorial. What we're we waiting for? Let's dive in, okay? All right, this is the homepage of the UWare. Remember the domain uware.com. If you are very into web coding, just like me, spend a lot of time on cursor, on windsurf, I think you can stop using them now because I think uware is the end game of the web coding. Let me explain why. With uware, you can easily build up any project. So you can easily build up an AI website or internal dashboard for your company, even a prototype generator. And also you can use your Figma designs in UWare. Just copy and paste your Figma designs link and watch UWare AI generate everything and even creativity and even apps. Yes, we are talking about the app. So if you are a designer like me and you want to build up without any knowledge of the coding, I think this platform is specially designed for you. And it is super easy to use. You don't need to learn anything about the coding part and you can easily create your project. Inside of the UWR, you are able to use Gemini 3 Pro, Cloud Sonet and ChatGPT 5, which is the best models on the market right now. But you don't need to subscribe all the AI models. All you need to have is UWare. And one of the specialty of the UWare is that UWare can create better designs than any other platform. Also, I want to highlight this functionality that UWare has this credit care. So that when I start web coding with other platform, even though the result is not satisfying, but I still paying, right? But in this tool, you don't need to pay any results that did not satisfy you. So if you are not satisfied with the results, you can click the rewind and it will pay you back the credits. That's so dope. I think this is terrific because you don't need to pay anything you don't want, right? It's simpler, smarter, and also safer. So no API key set up, no configs. We are not going to build up any toys. We are going to build up the products that you can actually use. Enough for the talking, let's do the demonstration. You can get access to UWare by Google account. Just click this star button. Oh, we are here. This is a dashboard of the UWare where the magic happens. So in the sidebar, we can find some entry points for explore. For example, like those games, oh my God. And beneath here, we have a trending projects. You can find some AI apps. And also you can find this productivity tool where you can find a lot of projects that's really useful for example. 
But before AI came, we cannot coding, right? But with Uware now, you can code your portfolio easily. Let's find one of the portfolio as an example, maybe this one. And when we scroll up, we have nice interaction. I think it's really good. And we have selected works, of course. And this is clickable. Oh, this is responsive design, nice. Pretty nice, right? In fact, we have a tons of examples that you can create with uh, Uware. So here is a place that we type our prompt. And also you can upload any images if you have any. And you can click here. You can use different MCP tool, for example, like the Figma, for example, like the Superbase. And also you can use other MCP like the Notion, like the YouTube even, GitHub. And here is where we select different of the AI models. Gemini 3 Flash and the different cloud GPTs. So my favorite is still goes with the Gemini 3 Flash. And if you have a link of your Figma file, just copy the Figma address here. Then you will can pick up your link and uh, do the rest. So my prompts about I want to build up an online museum named Every Arts. Inside, the user can find some famous artwork, for example, like the Van Gogh, like the Monet, and the user can leave comments, click likes. Basically, this is a website of the art. Oh, I forget to mention that user need to log in. And you can find that we have the gray text here. If you accept that, just click the tab. Yeah, I think everything's good. Let's click the return. Now go back, sob a coffee, and watch some Netflix, and wait the miracle to happen. Here you can find out that when we're drinking our coffees, and you are working very hard. You can find out that they are thinking how to realize our goal. So we have a to-do list updated. AI want to build up a search for famous artwork, for example, like the one called creating homepage with the hero section and the feature art. And if you click this uh, publish or update, you can find your link. And once you click the link, you can get fully access of your websites. And this is officially online if you click the publish button. Since we already enabled the U-Base functionality, now we are able to log in by our account. Let me type the wrong password. So let me type the correct password and click login with the email. So here is my user ID and we are able to scrolling down and click the gallery. We can find we already have four images. Third and the fourth one is correct. Let's click here and let's type the, and we can check this artwork and we can click the like and we can leave a comment and click send. See, fully functional. And we can click here to log out. So now you can share your link with the whole world and you can invite your friend to join in. So let me introduce this portion and click this one. You can check the coding parts. If you are a professional, you can modify it by your hand. And click this button where we'll switch to the database of our website. And you can find now we only have one user, which is myself. And we have a four artworks. And you can even change from here. And you can check this is the only user that is me. And in the future, you are able to get the API of your own product. This is crazy. And also we have the secret. Secret storage all the sensitive values such as the API keys and the tokens. So basically now you have the fully functional backend. And let me introduce another crazy functionality. I believe if it will change the whole game, if you click here, you can find that download button. And if you click all, you are able to download the full resources, including the front end and back end, which means you can leave this platform. I know we introduced a lot of tools that can also do the web coding, for example, like the Framer, but you cannot leave their platform. But you will give you the opportunity to leave this platform, to, to build it totally independent. That is so unselfish, right? and don't miss out those four buttons. The first one is to refresh the preview. So once you update your website, you can click here. And the second one is to open the carousel. So you can find some bugs and the debugs by AI. But according to my experiences, you will didn't give me any bugs. And if you click here, you can check your website in the mobile view. 
But I think we still need to work on that, right? We need a, a mobile version. And this one is really powerful. This is called virtual editing. So when you click here, you're able to change the minor stuff easily. For example, we can just uh, change it like the PPT. It is so astonishing. Uh, what? I never seen anything like that. You can even delete it or you can change the size. And after you satisfy with all the changes, you just click here to bring all the changes online. See, quite easy, right? And you are able to click here to rewind the changes. It will refine all the credits, for example, like these. See, we will refine the credits immediately. Just click here. That's so dope, right? And finally is how to put it online. So once you click the publish or updated button, you can find this pop up. Firstly, you will, will give you a domain by default, but you can add your custom domain from here. Just click here, custom domain. Domain is very important for a website. This will have to be very good to remember, right? You can purchase a domain in the other platform like GoDaddy, for example, like the UX, and you can purchase from there. And after that, you can go back and type your domain. And when you click this toggle button, your project will be hide from the community. If you don't want to add uh, to remix your project, and you can click here to hide your budge. And let's click the more setting. So here you can change the product title, you can change the cover. And after you're satisfied with it, just click the update and your website will be alive. That is unbelievable. With UWear, you can create your digital product easily. And the UX and UI designs are quite astonishing. And if you are not satisfied with it, you can click the rewind to get back all the credits. And you can use virtual editing tools to change everything you don't satisfy with it. And if you want to divorce with UWear, you can also do that by click all the coding parts. And also you can use a UBase, which enables you to use a fully functional backend. And you can deploy your custom domain. With all the functionalities, I believe anyone can convert their dreams into a digital product lively. So in the age of the AI, I really believe anyone can be anything. Back to the homepage of the UWare, and let's open Figma. So click the right panel, you can find that copy link to the session, which means we're bringing this page into our design. Remember, you also need to click here to the Figma dive mode, and enable Figma MCP. Okay, going back and uh, let's click this button. See, we're bringing our design back to life. This is so dope, right? And you can find some nice interactions set by AI and also you can modify everything by AI. Don't forget to try, don't forget to try my favorite virtual editing. Congratulations on watching till the end. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. You won't miss out on more great contents. I will see you on the next episode. Bye bye.